So welcome ladies and gents, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. The finale is here, we've seen it. It's been, it's gone. What a, what a season, what a show. Absolutely abysmal, awful in fact. And the subversion of people's expectations continued. And it's very ironic that, or coincidental I guess, you know, that Disney produced Lucasfilms uh, Star Wars and their bizarre subversion of expectations which led to fan backlash that we then of course get Disney producing or working primarily obviously in control of Marvel and She-Hulk's bizarre subversion of expectations. Now let me just sort of break it down for you. We are expecting lots of story threads to align. Now some of these story threads you may expect to align in a certain way, you may not. But also, the expectations were set by the trailer. So when these things happen in the finale, to then have Jennifer Walters break the fourth wall and say that this is cliche, there's somewhat, you know, a level of, well, a lack of self awareness from the marketing department as well as Marvel. So let me just break it down. What happened in this episode? And then we'll talk how they set it up, how they essentially said that they were idiots in this whole episode anyway, and then completely flipped it and gave us a really stupid ending. Now, Jennifer Walters, in the last episode, hulks out. She goes savage She-Hulk. She loses her job. She loses her house, apartment, and she has to move back in with her parents. She moves back in with her parents. She, w she wishes to have some respite from her parents. So, what happens? Well, she goes to see Emil Blonsky. Because he said, you're welcome anytime. Now, Emil Blonsky, of course, you know, the abomination. She goes there, doesn't find him. But one of the other residents, uh, the other supervillain, is like, oh, hey, actually, he's just down at this house uh, doing an event. Go down. So he goes down. She goes down. Sorry. And what's at the event? Well, it's the Hulk King himself. Which is, of course, that dweeb. The rich dweeb that uh, Jen went on a date with. We could all see that coming a mile off anyway. And what happens is actually quite a good setup. So, he decides to inject himself with her blood. He hulks out. Now, I was half expecting him to turn into the leader. I'm aware that the leader already exists, but you could change it. It doesn't really matter. There's a way to retroactively do it. Like, who cares, really, at this point in time, changing stuff around? It doesn't matter. But he hulks out, and Emil Blonsky is the abomination, and he essentially jumps in to save Jen. And then that that story thread... I like that. I think that's really good, actually. It's a, it's, a, it's a way to solidify redemption for Emil Blonsky. The abomination. But what then happens, literally out of nowhere, where it then doesn't make any sense, is the Hulk just crashes through the roof and goes to fight the abomination. And anyway, that's su super, super dumb. Titania bursts through as well. Super, super dumb. And then Jen Walters breaks the fourth wall and proceeds to go into Marvel Studios offices uh, and then goes to have a meeting with Kevin. Kevin is a robot. Just just awful. There's some teasers of the X-Men, but not. There's some teasers of a movie, but not. She chooses to correct the entire ending of the episode. It's daylight. Emil Blonsky is not fighting anyone. You know, the Hulk King, the dweeb, doesn't inject himself. So that whole plot thread went nowhere. Literally went nowhere. And anyway, she ends the episode with Daredevil swooping in. Emil Blonsky signing a, basically signing admission that he's got to go to prison for 10 years. That's not fair. He was perfectly nice in this. They set him up to be a nice, likeable dude. And then she makes him go to prison again. Yeah, I know he broke parole, but so did she technically, because she had to wear, she had to enter into a plea deal, 
and wear something which would stop her from changing. But she entered into that final scene as She-Hulk, so she had changed, so she broke her own plea deal. Anyway, 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 anyway. We close with Daredevil, She-Hulk, obviously as Jen Walters, having a family dinner barbecue, and then Hulk comes in and we're introduced to his son, Scar. It looks like trash. Scar looks garbage. Awful, awful visual effects. Again, Shrek, PS2 level graphics, just bad stuff. But the whole point is, a few things to consider here, is that She-Hulk had broken her own uh, you know, terms of a plea deal. Why isn't she in prison? So that's ridiculous. Why does Emil Blonsky have to go to prison again? He, we've sh you've shown him to be a nice, likeable guy. Sure, he breaks out of prison, right? He breaks out of prison because Wong comes in to save him and take him to Comitage. But that's not the point. You can't have one rule for one, none for the other. That's ridiculous. The whole blood. Th that was an important plot point of this show that has now, because Jen Walters broke the fourth wall, has gone nowhere. This fucking show is atrocious. It's genuinely awful. She-Hulk learns no lessons. I guess, literally no lessons at all. There's no character development or growth. I thought that this would be the case. I don't understand what journey we've gone on as a sitcom show. And it's funny because she even reminds the audience, well, well, reminds Kevin, well, isn't this a legal show? So, you know, uh, can't I give my closing arguments? It's like, if it was, couldn't we have a little bit more of that then? Rather than this utter preteen nonsense that we did have. It's terrible. Now, obviously, they're setting up, um, well, you know, they are setting up uh, World World War Hulk, is it? I think um, not Planet Hulk. Planet Hulk is kind of what they already did, but but also didn't do. Um, or maybe it is World War Hulk. But anyway, whatever. They're, they're setting up something. Um, but it doesn't make any sense because Scar's clearly not there to go and kill his dad. I mean, he originally came to her to kill his father. That doesn't. Happen. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. I just... God damn. The design of Scar annoys me as well. Scar looks so stupid. Very soft and Play-Doh-y. Um, the face looks dumb. I think the whole thing's dumb. I think this whole show's dumb. It's super lame. Super lame. And I know that they're, they're clearly trying to be smart and do something different. But goodness me, it doesn't land. It is utterly, utterly atrocious.